suffering heroin. Is that right? Heroin. Heroin morning. I can never say that. My baby had us on the edge, almost missing no, no, her no. shoe. No. Almost no. missing our trip this morning. She tells nothing but mine. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's been a long week and it's only half of the week. So I apologize for not coming on on Tuesday. It was it was just too much. So I need so that's the word I said. I wasn't going to say much going into 2024. Moving forward, I'm trying to get a good cup of coffee going this morning. I got meetings galore, so you know that's twice. In any case, I'm not going to be able to break that habit. I'm so used to doing it. Let's get some coffee going. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week so far. We have a trip planned this week. I'm excited. We're going to Victoria, British Columbia. I've been there. It's, uh, it's cold this time of year. So I'm excited to, I'm really excited to go there with Bill. Um, we have a, a installation. Well, he has an installation. His Freemason uh, lodge member have a installation in Canada, and he's really excited about this. It's formal. So I need to go check out my formal wear. I do have a little black dress, but you know how we girls are. We like something new. I'm going to do a little shopping. And then he's been in and out of the hospital, and at some point in September he got it. And now, now in December, like December twentieth, they requested an on. They didn't ask for it retro, but it's there. He has. So they this. requested a. It was a retro request, but it wasn't for the dates that they initially requested no, on the denial. No. Okay, got it. All right. So, so they, but that's what they'll do is if they get it for September, then they go. Oh. I There are so many tasks that I want to get accomplished in 2023. One, namely, is probably my closet. We know my closet is a hot mess. And also the items in my bathroom under the sink. I've accumulated a lot of stuff, as many of us have, and I need to downsize, not downsize, I need to declutter some of those things I haven't used, so many uh, products for my hair and, and just other supplies that are in there that I need to consciously work on that. So that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few days. I'm sure you probably have already done that and organized and got everything in neat little cabinets, and I don't want to do that because... I'm going to be decluttering this house. I have a lot of things that I'm going to be, I don't want to do a storage, but I've got to get it prepared for possibly a spring garage sale. I mean, if I can make some money on some of these things, I've got so many things. Not that I'm going to get rid of everything, but there are some things that I'm going to have to declutter. So let's get started on that i'm going to go and make another cup of coffee and then i'm going to take you to look at how horrible it is under my cabinets both bathrooms i should be ashamed don't judge me people don't judge me okay this is under bathroom number one's cabinet and i'm just gonna kind of move the camera around. look at that i'm gonna move the camera around some of this crap, look at hair products. Now, some of those I do use. Why do I have that hair thing that my sister uses that and her hair is gorgeous, but of course she has more hair density than I do and her hair is gorgeous, so she's not suffering with the same problems that I am. But look at that. What is, what am, I got to get rid of that, guys. Some of these products, like... I use that, and I use that, and I use that. But why do I have saline wash back there? Those are dressings, toothbrushes. Ugh, anyway, let me get started. Also, 
you may as well take a look at my cleaning supply cabinet that is next door to the hair products that I have. Look, now I need cleaning supplies, but I could do better than that. Not that I would get rid of them, but I can organize it in a much better fashion. This is crazy. I am determined to learn how to work the frother, make a latte on my Keurig. Okay, it says we are to fill, this is whole milk, and I'm lactose intolerant, so you already know what this is going to do to me, but I want to use the best milk. And we're to fill, there's a line inside the max line, so we're going to fill to the max line. I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out. Okay, we've got our shot of coffee. And we've got our, ooh. Honey, this is going to give me the blues, I can tell you next. So, oh, okay. Hmm, maybe. And this is the end result. Like, I know I'm going to need some type of creamer. I'm going to add my vanilla, nope, salted caramel. I'm going to have to practice this. It's not aesthetically pretty, but give it a, I'm going to give it a couple of tries. We are here tonight in Chef Bill's kitchen. Tonight's dinner, this Tuesday night, our beautiful thick ribeye. And you know how I love thick. That's not funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, I, was talking about, I was talking about steaks. You were talking about steak. Those are gorgeous. Yes. We love a good steak. Yes, we do. Good morning, beautiful people. I am down here at the Clipper and it is super early. We are headed to Victoria, BC and oh my God, it is chilly out here. Waiting for Bill, he is parking and it is cold. It's probably about 30 degrees downtown Seattle. I'm gonna keep you abreast of what we're gonna be doing this weekend. Stay tuned. After a harrowing, is that right? Harrowing, harrowing morning. I can never say that. My baby had those on the edge, almost missing no, no, our no, no, Almost no, no. missing our trip this morning. She tells nothing but lies. I, we were literally running. I was in complete control of chaos. Of chaos. Um, and as you recall, on the Maxwell Smart Show, Get Smart, Chaos was the evil was the, empire. 99 was the brains That's of right. that whole outfit. Eh, yeah, you're right. We're dating ours of 99, was it? Yeah. Is that right? Yes. 99? Yeah. And 86. Watch. Okay, we got two hours and 45 minutes to be on this. Look at the background. It is beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful sunny day in western Washington. Those are clouds. That's sun. But it's beautiful. <laughs> We are out and we are about to adventure in the St Victoria streets. He is so goofy. We're so hungry. We're going to go city, get something to eat. The city of Vicky. 
offensive. I don't feed this man soon. He is going to fall. Hangry. He is, Get hangry. He is hungry. We're hangry. Frankies. Let's go, baby. It's so cute. And we're so hungry. So we're going to order some food. I'm looking all over the place. This is an Irish pub. It's huge. I like the architecture I know. on a lot of these it's buildings. A, that's all sandstone. It's all sandstone. And look at how well it's been cared for. And they, they'll take, they'll take a, a layer and they'll not uh, polish it. I want to capture as much as I possibly can. Footage, that is. While I'm here, I'm getting ready to, it's going to be a busy day. I am getting ready to get ready for a ladies' tea at 11. By the way, I'm here in Victoria, BC, and I understand that they're at the Empress Hotel. That is the best place to have high tea so that's what i'm doing today and i want to be able to capture as much of that as i possibly can so i'm trying to get ready i want to represent my people well that is the states i'm representing the states so let's get ready i'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup i got a busy day after that we have an installation and after that, we have a banquet. So I'm going from 11 to probably 8 or 9, depending on what time we get back home, back to the hotel, that is. This is the finished look for now. I'm getting ready to head out the door. I first put on a little lipstick and that's it. And I'll take you guys along as long as my battery lasts. It's a little pricey. It's beautiful. Ah. 
Portugal. Hey, this is a baby. Oh, wow. Ah, this is number four. Favorite number four. Number three is the most favorite. Number one is a distant second. They said yeah. three is most favorite generally. One is a close second, but he likes number four. finally arrived. This is it's called the banquet? Yes. It's a banquet. Okay. This is the social hour banquet. Yes. We are pre-socializing early. Early. Yeah. I have I'm a getting, Mai Tai. I'm getting social with my fiance. Yes, they they know that we are engaged. But tonight we thought we'd come on a little early because we don't know how late we're gonna be. So we're just gonna have a couple of cocktails. Listen that the bartender is shaking it up. I think that's your work. The espresso martini is shaking it, getting it ready. Yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd bring you guys to the evening with us. We're going to get it started. We're going to get a little toasty before the night starts. All right. Later. Oh, that's so pretty. You ready, Hannah? I'm ready. All right, dude. Let's do it. Salute, baby. Christa Victoria. It has been an amazing weekend. If you ever get a chance to come to Victoria, BC, be sure to stay at the Grand Pacific. An amazing staff. The food is amazing. Be sure to go to the Fathom Lounge. We were there last night. The drinks were awesome. So we're now headed to breakfast and it is back on the clipper. So we will talk to you as soon as we get back to Seattle. Bye bye. Look at my baby. Goodbye, Grand Pacific. We're headed out. Gotta go. Bye bye.